Hey, 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 I'm Chris. I'm Drew. We are Cheap Ashes. Once again, coming to you from Chandler, Arizona, and the Yard Cigar Bar. Now, again, it's one of our favorite haunts. You know, basically, it's just, basically become our studio at this point. It's our studio. Yeah. yeah. Uh, today, we are going to review a few different things. What do we got there for the cigar? Uh, so we got the Roma Craft Crow Magnum. Uh, this happens to be the anthropology size. We'll talk about that later. But yeah. Yeah, yeah. And I am drinking from Ale Asylum, the Motorhead Road Crew Pale Ale. Um, yeah, fun stuff, man. It looks. You know, you can see on the label there, all Motorhead, you know, Lemmy and all that stuff. All that stuff, and uh, it's, you know, pretty good. What are you drinking, Drew? Um, so we got some uh, Dutch Brothers. Anybody who's uh, on the west uh, half of the country will probably know this anywhere from Colorado to Arizona to California and uh, Oregon and all those other places. But yes, uh, I got some espresso from Dutch Brothers. Uh, we'll see if this is better than uh, the last piece. Bikini B. Yeah. So, so yeah, uh, you know, I want to talk a little bit about Dutch Brothers, you know, first of all, take your drink. I want to see what you think of it. So this is the first time I'm having the straight espresso. Normally I just get like a Americano or coffee, just wanted to preface that. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Their coffee, guys, is off the hook. They make some really cool blends. like. The first Dutch in Arizona, I want to say, was at Lindsay and McCallops. And my school was right there. If not the first, it was one of the first. And I would get the, the Annihilator yeah. or the Caramelizer, both hot. And those things were super sweet, but delicious. Um, back in the day when they first opened, it wasn't a shit show like it is today, where um, you better not be pressed for time when you go through a Dutch Brothers drive through there could be two cars ahead of you and it's going to take 15 to 20 minutes because the people that work there don't know how to shut the fuck up. Yeah, I literally... Uh, literally, they can't shut their fucking mouths. Took me 10 minutes today and there was two cars in front of me, so, yeah. And uh, the car two in front of me, I swear, ordered like the entire menu. Um, there was uh, probably a busload of people in this tiny car because they just kept handing drinks out and I couldn't quite figure out what was going on. It was like a clown car, but... Yeah. <laughs> I digress, so... You know, it... <laughs> Again, their coffee is fantastic. It is. Their coffee, what they do, um, the Dutch Mafia, it's really a cool cool marketing gimmick that they have with uh, the Dutch Mafia, the stickers. Yeah. I, um, I love their coffee. I don't go there, and I won't go there, because I don't know what it is about their employees. They tell them, yeah, talk as long as you possibly can with the customer and hold them here. Maybe they'll buy more. I don't know. Yeah, but, but if you've already ordered, it's kind of like one of those it's things. Like, now you're just getting pissed. I, I, I've yeah. literally, I've gone, uh, one of the last times I went through the Dutch drive through I, I looked at the girl and I said, hey, I don't mean to be rude, but I'm not in the mood to talk and talk to you about shit that means nothing to me. Just right. give me my coffee and let me go. Yeah. Guess what? My coffee came immediately and I left. Yeah. You know, it's just, it's one of those things. Um, I guess they're just trying to be nice, customer service oriented. Uh, sometimes you can take it over over the top a little bit. You know? Yeah, well, and I think sometimes too, you know, just to, to be fair on the other side of it, when you're making all the complicated drinks, sometimes by talking to you, some people forget that it's taking so long to get their drink because the guys in front of you, uh, girls in front of you, whatever, uh, you know, they're getting these complicated, like fancy foo foo, <coughs> got 12 different names to it, uh, drinks. And it takes a little bit longer than just making some coffee, so. And that's the thing that I'm not really, I, I, I'm, I kind of hate about coffee houses now. <coughs> Serve fucking coffee. Yeah. I don't need all this other shit that you're selling that takes 10 minutes to fucking make one. You know, I, I mean, seriously. Yeah. I'm old school. I like my coffee black, I like it hot. That's all I want. Yeah. And you know, that for me is why Duncan is still one of my favorites. Yeah. Black Rock gets you in and out pretty quick. Yeah, they do. You know, and, you know, it's just, I don't want the foo-foo. I just want my coffee. And honestly, Circle K's got damn good coffee. Because they grind yeah. your beans right there, brew it, and it's done. I it, That's one thing I totally forgot about until just now. Circle K makes really good coffee. They do. Yeah, every once in a while I get the iced coffee, and it's actually legit. It's, I, I am. Just as good, if not better, than some of these other. I am super shocked. And McDonald's, their black coffee. Yeah. The McDonald's I mean, black coffee. 
So there's a lot of options out there for coffee. You don't have to go to one of these high priced <coughs> bikini beans, low uh, quality <coughs> coffee places. Sorry. Sorry, ladies. Didn't mean to uh, piss on your parade, but the coffee sucks. Yeah, well, um, we talked about that last time. Yeah. Uh, let's talk about this row crew. Um, it's a 5% American pale ale. Now, I'm a pale ale IPA kind of guy. I'm a pilsner. I, let's just say I'm a beer guy. Uh, I'm not a like a fruit beer, wheat beer kind of person. We'll review some of those down the line. Um, uh, sours, hit or miss. But for a pale, this is a little light for me. Yeah. I, I like a 6, 6.2, six, 6.4, you know, on a percentage. Um, however, I will say my palate's a little wrecked from having a cold right now. So my, I'm not getting the full flavor, I think, out of this beer that it has. But it's still got great flavor to it. Um, it's got, it's a little bit malty forward with um, uh, a nice strong finish on the back end. That's what I'm kind of getting out of this. And it's a, it's got a cool label, man. This is like one of those ones, if you can get the label off clean, you can use it as a sticker anywhere. It's really yeah. pretty cool. It's got a little story on here, just um, about Lemmy writing, we are the road crew. And that's what this is, uh, it pays homage to. So, cheers. Yeah, I mean, uh, I, I've had that beer before in the past, um, you know, months ago. Uh, so I remember it being quite delicious. It is good. It is it, uh, very delicious. How does it go with the cigar? Um, I was just going to say, it's a really good pairing with the cigar. Yeah. A lot of people talk about IPAs and pails don't go well with cigars. Bullshit. Yeah, well, this cigar too has enough uh, spice and like earthiness and some. This holds to up it. to the beer. It just it feels. I mean, it those goes well two. With those. It, it's just it's a it goes well with those. It's a really good pairing with these. You know, it's a medium medium plus. Um, uh, I love the veiny wrapper on this. Yeah. I, that's the one thing I was noticing, like I was looking at it, just. I don't know if you guys can see it. You can see it's just super veiny and rustic. Yeah. It, it's, a, this is one of those throwbacks to old school cigars, I think. Yeah. You know, if Definitely. I had to, if I had to put that on, a moniker on this, and I'm digging it. You know, sometimes you get into your humidor and you walk <laughs> around and you grab a cigar and you're like, oh, I'm just gonna keep growing, go, and you go back and smoke something for the first time again. Yeah. This is what it is for me today, smoking this for the first time again. And I forgot how great of a cigar this is. Well, the funny thing is, you know, everybody talks about the Cro-Magnon and then there's all these limiteds and all these other like crazy ones. The one everybody always forgets about too is the Aquitaine. I actually like, that's probably one of my favorite Roma Crafts, uh, just to be I love really upfront Aquitaine. about that. Uh, it's got a little bit more leather, it's got a little bit more wood in it than this. Yes. This has a little bit more of that black pepper that sometimes you're just like, Man, it is just assaulting my palate, and you're just like, you know. But, a lot of guys can't handle it. Yeah. You know, it, unless you're one of those full flavor kind of guys that loves that beefy, heavy In stick, face, yeah. you know, um, you're not going to like this. Yeah. Uh, we've been smoking for so long, it's just, it's kind of like, yeah. This is a morning cigar. It's a morning cigar. This is our first, <coughs> this is my first cigar, your yeah. first cigar, and, and it's not wrecking me, you know. So, again, Palette preference. Correct. Palette preference. Uh, let's talk a little bit about Roma Craft. Those guys freaking blew up on the scene. Yeah, I mean, it's been one of those things. Uh, they kind of have that underground following as well. Um, I feel like they're a lot, uh, they're perceived to be a lot bigger than they actually are. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. The company itself is really small. Really, really good dudes, uh, you know, based out of Texas. Uh, it's one of those things, like, you can show up and, and you know, a lot of the, 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 "Quote unquote fanboys or the the nerds travel there as it's like their mecca, you know. And they they go hang out with Skip and all those guys, and it's just it's a you know it's a fun time. Just a, uh, I know a few of them, so I've heard a lot of stories about. Uh, Got in know, Nicaragua, right? Yeah, in Nicaragua, Texas, yeah. going to just the headquarters in Texas. Uh, but they've been putting out these these craft boutique cigars, and they don't they don't change it. Um, it, it, it's not available. It's not available. They're not gonna pump not, out extra products exactly. in order to like sacrifice the quality. And, and guys, I will say, the last year, year and a half, their product has become more available. Correct. You know, it's um, it's a lot easier to get their stuff. Uh, a couple, three years ago, it was tough. I'm not gonna lie, it was pretty well, tough to get was, their stuff. There was there was a shortage of you know Connecticut broadleaf 
uh, three, four years ago, maybe longer than that. Um, I mean, it was, they had a lot of problems in the, uh, everybody's had a lot of problems in the last five, six years with um, some, you know, crops getting destroyed and or not yielding as much as, as needed to be. So the prices Correct. go up, people are like, well, I don't want to sacrifice, you know, putting a super expensive wrapper on, I got to raise my cigar five, ten dollars a stick and people aren't going to buy it. So it's, right. it's one of those things, you know. So you just it. buy your time. Correct. Wait for it to hit, and when it hits, enjoy it. You, you know, and that's what we're doing. And uh, you know, and I don't want to bring. I, I'm going to bring another cigar brand into this because I feel like they're kind of on the same level with La Florida Minicana mm -hmm. and the struggles that they're having with that Lajero leaf. That they, yeah. you know, everything's always on back order, man. It, yeah. It's just, it's, you know. Again, you can't force something to grow any faster. Correct. <laughs> yeah. it, 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 you can, however, help it along with how you treat your crops and whatnot. But again, Mother Nature, you have no control over. Um, um, you know, and we're not we're not tobacco farmers. No, we're not. We're as far from that as you could probably get, really. Uh, uh, we're, it, it, yeah. Yeah. But what did Casey say on, on uh, the uh, Instagram post? Last week, you, know, you guys look like you should be going out. Uh, pumpkin lattes. Pumpkin lattes, right? looking for pumpkin lattes. <laughs> Whatever. So, hey. Everybody's yeah, got a break. Home. We're city boys that love the uh, <laughs> the woods, I guess, yeah. you know? Uh, yeah. So, again, give this a try. If, if, if it's one of those ones that you like, that if you're one of those guys that kind of likes a beefy, meaty, you know, fuller, uh, fuller flavored, not body. There's also like flavored. eight different shapes and sizes. Yeah. In oh line, yeah. So you can pretty much get whatever you want. Um, there's crazy unicorns out there where you get some weird random sizes that you'll never find anywhere. And then as soon as you find it, you're like, I want to buy the whole box because I'll never see it again. Right, right, right. You know, especially in the Lanceros and some of those guys. But I really dig this size. Yeah. Uh, you, you know, we were well, talking off camera, Corona, Corona border. border. Yeah, 46 ring gauge. Just, it's, it's the sweet spot really. A little bit smaller than a Robusto, a little bit bigger than a Corona, get a little more smoke time. I'm a Corona guy. I'm a, I'm a Corona Lancero guy. Right? Yeah. Those are like my two favorite sizes ever. I feel like, and, and you know, let's talk a little bit about the sizes real quick. Um, I feel like the smaller ring gauge, the smaller cigar, the more compact the flavor is going to be. Well, and you get more of the wrapper flavor. You get that wrapper the ratios flavor. ratios differently between the, the filler, the binder, and then the wrapper. So that's why you're... All of a sudden, you're getting a crazy different flavor from a Lanceo versus a 660 or a 770 or an 880 or whatever crazy fucking size you want to go to. But, but I, I, 660 is almost too big for me now. Yeah, I, that's, I, that's I, about I, my threshold. 64 in the inch uh, from Korea. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, yeah. So that's that's about as big as I like to go. Uh, I like, you know what? 52 is my sweet spot. Yeah, because that's what most pyramids, Correct. most Figurados. You know, you have you have that 52 ring, and that's just that I'm sweet a, spot. Uh, I'm a 44, 46 ring gauge all day, except for the inch, just because that's the only size that they make it in. Exactly. I still exactly. think they uh, should make a smaller size than that one. <laughs> You're not gonna. Ernesto's not gonna. He, yeah, he's nobody, like, nah, 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 nah. This is what got me where I am. I'm gonna well, stick you with know, it. Well, they were my favorite. One of my favorite cigars for them. They actually stopped making. Um, it was funny because I was the only one that smoked it, and. Uh, uh, Big B from Scar Mechanic can attest to this that uh, when I was working with him, I sold one box of them and they sat on the shelf for six months. and He ended up buying the box for me uh, at an account in Colorado. Oh my god, I tried to get into that yeah. one the night when we so, had uh, no flavor like, yeah. yeah. So, you know, <laughs> it was one of those things. But cigar was great, it just it got lost in the, the packaging, I think, and uh, people didn't really know what it was. So, what's the, the dusk? The dusk? The Camarillo does. Mm -hmm. Something nice. Can't kind of find them. Yeah. Um, you know, medium range. We'll 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 we'll, we'll, we'll get little, to that. Yeah. But all right, know, let's go. Final call. call. Yeah. First of all, final call on your Dutch brothers. This is absolutely, great guys. Yeah. It's and you know what? And and I found too. And you know, yeah, I, I, I bash them a little bit for taking so long. Get out of your car and walk up. Yeah. It'll take a lot less time. You might meet some people too. You know, and and I've done. <laughs> yeah. You might meet some people. Some fucking weirdos if you're at the one on Mill Avenue, but you're gonna meet some people. Well, there's just weird people on Mill. <laughs> uh, the, you know, the road crew, uh, pale ale, absolutely. I will drink this again. I like it. It's, you know, at five percent, it's not gonna put you on your ass. So yeah. it's it's a nice, Good easy drinking, beer. light session, yeah. pale. And then for the cigar, 
this is something he and I smoke. Yeah, regular. You know, this whole line is something that we smoke. And, yeah. you know, a lot of this stuff is out of our price range for, for the videos. Yeah, I mean, quite a bit of it is. Well, yeah. then go with the Intemperance. So, for the cheap guys out there, check out the Intemperance line. We'll just I like that. the Intemperance. Yeah. So, it's on the, the lower price end. Um, so, great cigar. Seven to nine, seven to ten dollars. Yeah, these are in that. This, this is, is the, nine fifty. Nine fifty. Yeah. So. And, and again, there are so many times you buy a cigar and you're like, ooh, that's about a six buck stick. Why did I pay 11 for it? This is a $9.50 stick that's worth the $9.50. I didn't even pay. pay like 12 bucks for it. And, you know, I, I mean, you can you can take it up a little bit, yeah. you know, price right, and, and you're not going to be disappointed in it because it's got some good depth to it, mm -hmm. you know? So, well, guys, thank you again for watching this week. Um, I am on fall break next week nice. as a teacher. Uh, Lara and I are heading up to Pine Top Lakeside here in Arizona. It's in the White Mountains. If you, those of you that aren't from here, it's very high elevation. The high is only going to be in the 60s when we're up there. Um, two days ago, it snowed in um, Greer. Yeah. So we're hoping to maybe get one of those freak storms that comes through, get a little snow while we're up there. A snowball fight. A little snow no. No, no, no. David, don't have a snowball fight with your fiance because no matter how it plays out, you lose. It will end horribly. You lose. <laughs> Take it from us. So uh, thanks again, guys. Uh, like, subscribe, smash that bell. Um, yeah. Follow us on Instagram, uh, cheap underscore ashes. Uh, keep checking out. Uh, we're just growing and growing. We're so. growing. We're we're making waves here, guys. We're we're starting to hopefully get some some fun guests on soon. Yeah. Uh, now um, that the weather's cooling down, there's other this month's a little crazy, but coming up in November, I'm sure we'll have November. Some. We're gonna have some time to yeah. really get some people. And and again, we'll start to see some manufacturers start moving a little bit in November, Correct. coming to our state, and yeah, especially when everybody else off. is getting balls cold and we're nice. And yeah. 80s, yeah, 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 yeah. They, so. they want to come and, and yeah. spend, you know, a week in Arizona where it's right. 75 as opposed to minus 20 wherever they're from. So, and let's say Miami guys. Well, yeah, you know, but then it's just sweaty. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So. All right, guys. We will see you next week. Thanks for watching. Take care. Bye bye. Thank you.